Good morning everyone, it's Maria. Okay, today's Halloween project, I am so excited to share with you this Halloween eyeball cloche and this is made out of a recycled soda bottle and as you can see it's really cute and I, I just put the raven there just to give it a cute effect but this is really cute I just used a styrofoam disc there and some eyeballs that I got from Michaels and a recycled plastic soda bottle and over here let me just show you I've got a wild orchid crafts black rose there with the skeleton hand that I also got from Michaels and this project is really cute this is inspired by a craft I've been following for a few years now and she posted this I think last year but I've always wanted to make it but I didn't have the supplies then so now that I have it I'm gonna show you how I made this so in order to put together our project we will need a soda bottle you will have to cut down the bottom and the top so that's how it looks like and you need to clean your bottle so it look like it's glass so I already cut the top and the bottom and then we will need a styrofoam this is six inches it got smushed a little bit but that's okay I painted it black you will need this round styrofoam ball and I think this is about two inches in diameter you will need of course your black paint to paint your styrofoam and your paint brush or paint foam and then you will need some sort of like a gray metallic paint mini glue dots fishing line and a needle you will need some bugs this is optional and you would need some sort of moss I got this from the Dollar Tree and of course you will need your foam eyeballs and of course you will need your hot glue gun so let's get started three eyeballs floating there now. back as you can see this project was very easy to make I think your kids would love to create this project with you it's pretty inexpensive the eyeballs I got from Michaels were about two dollars and 99 cents I think and of course the skeleton hand that I added over here came in a pack of 10 I think so I just added that with the crafts and coffee blog her project was just the soda bottle, the styrofoam ball, the eyeballs, of course, the moss, and the styrofoam disc. But I decided to add this bow. And I'm going to show you. I decided to add the bow. And of course, this black rose from Wild Orchids Craft and the skeleton hand. And of course, I added the rick rack at the bottom just to hide the hot glue. 
so it doesn't look so messy. I just wanted it to be prettier because if you don't have the bow then of course it just looks like a real cloche but I decided to add the bow just to make it look more girly but as you can tell this was very easy your kids can make this with you with the crafts and coffee blog she also made another one with a creepy tree inside with like floating ghosts so that's a another idea for you to make if you decide to make this project, I would love to see how yours turned out. Please send me the link below of your channel or send me a private message so I can check out your channel and subscribe to yours as well. I really enjoyed putting this project together. The reason why I posted this be before the Halloween decor video is because I wanted to share this with you because it's such an easy project to make and of course we only have a few weeks before halloween so if you are bored or your kids are bored and you have nothing to do on a saturday afternoon then head on down to michael's or any craft store like hobby lobby and get the eyeballs and of course it's pretty inexpensive using the recycled soda bottle and of course your kids would have fun looking at their own work and create some great memories so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and you really like what I did so far and you are liking what I'm posting on my channel. Please leave me a comment below and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will be posting my Halloween decor video either today or tomorrow. So thank you for watching and thank you again for supporting me. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you on my next project. Bye for now.